My son Hi. is obsessed with machines, especially excavators. As an engineer, what kind of dad would I be if I didn't build him one? In this video, I'll show you how my prototype came together and how I designed the mechanics for it. To create a simple excavator, there's a few parts I'm going to need. A boom, an arm, and a bucket. Each of these parts are moved and controlled by hydraulic cylinders. A real excavator uses hydraulics, which is pressurized oil or liquid. For mine, I'm gonna use pneumatics, which is pressurized air, because it's cleaner and simpler to use around the house. My first decision was on which materials to use. I had some leftover two by fours, so I used that for most of the structure, the base, the boom, the arm. I 3D printed the bucket out of a hard plastic material. And for the pneumatic components, the cylinders, the hoses, the valves, I was able to find them pretty cheap online. There are a couple design points I want to make sure that I have. I want to make sure that it will be able to swivel or rotate, and I want to make sure that it will be able to dig a few inches below ground level. Before I built anything, I used 3D modeling software to design the parts and optimize the range of motion. I used data sheets to create models of different sized cylinders, including different stroke lengths. The most important dimension is the distance from the pinhole on the back of the cylinder to the pinhole at the end of the rod. In the end, I decided to use a 6 inch stroke for the boom, 3 inch for the arm, 2 inch for the bucket, and 3 inch for the swiveling base. At this point, I was ready to build. This is my base frame. Because the excavator will hang out over the front of the base, the weight will cause the frame to tip. This board acts as a counterweight to resist that. This is the control panel for all my pneumatic valves. And here is my main assembly. I've got the boom, boom cylinder, arm cylinder, arm, bucket, bucket cylinder and the swivel cylinder and I use bolts for the pin joints. Now it's time to test it out. Finally I can let my son try it. In this video, I showed you the design requirements for my excavator and how I use CAD software to design the components and the mechanics for it. In the next video, I'll go into more detail on the pneumatic components. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel.